welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin and how are you doing? We are back with another Coral Island tutorial. This time around, we're going to give a little guide to help you find all the ocean critters under the ocean. So, if you have missed the other two tutorials, which is the insect and fishing guide, so I will have the links down in the description below. And yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. Now this is the diving map of Coral Island. As you can see here, this whole underwater world is divided into four different sections in various ocean depths. So the 10 to 20 meters is on the southwest side, which is Sapulo. Duopulo is on the 20 meter and 30 meters, which is on the south. Out northwest will be Umbapulo, which is 40 meter to 50 meter depths. And lastly, on the top, which is Lima Pulo, which is 50 meters to 60 meter depths. So uh, there are two different types of ocean critters, that is only the daytime and nighttime critters. And also different seasons, we have different critters. So ocean critters are not affected by weather. So you can capture these ocean critters in at any weather. So let's look into the first ocean critter you can find in Coral Island. First one is the arrow crab. Arrow crabs can be found in Sapulo region and it is a nighttime critter and you can only find in the spring and winter season. Up next is the Atolla jellyfish. You can find Atolla jellyfish in the Ampapulo region and it is an all day critter in all seasons except winter. Next up is the Blood Belly Comb jellyfish. This jellyfish can be found in the Limapulo region. It is an all day critter and it can be found in throughout all seasons. Next we have the blue crab. This crab can be found in the Ampapulo region. It is a nighttime only critter. You can find blue crabs in all seasons except winter. Next we have the blue lobster. This lobster can be found in the Serpulo region. It is also a nighttime only creature can be found during the fall and winter seasons. Next we have the blue starfish. We can find this starfish in the Limopulo region. It is only found during nighttime and it can be only found in all seasons except winter. We have the Brisingida starfish. We can find this starfish in the Sapulo area and Duopulo area. It can find throughout the whole day but only in, during the fall and winter seasons. Next lobster we have is the Calico lobster. This lobster can be found in the Duopulo region. It is only appears during nighttime and it appears in all seasons except spring. We have another jellyfish called the cannonball jellyfish. It can be found in the Sapulo area throughout whole day and in all seasons except winter. Next jellyfish is the cauliflower jellyfish. You can find this jellyfish in the Ampapulo region throughout the whole day and during the summer and fall seasons. Next we have the chambered nautilus. This creature can be found during the, the day and in Ampapulo region but only during the springtime. Next we have the common starfish. This starfish can be found in the Serpulo region throughout the whole day and in all seasons. Next we have the cotton candy lobster. Cotton candy lobsters can be found in the Lima Pulo region only during nighttime and only during the fall. Next we have the crown of thorns starfish. This starfish can be found in the Umpak Pulo region. You can catch it during the whole day and can be found in all seasons except for fall. Next starfish we have is the eight-armed starfish. This unique starfish can be found in the Dua Pulo region during the daytime only and in all seasons. Up next is the flower hat jellyfish. You can find this jellyfish in the Dua Pulo region, but only during nighttime and in all seasons except in the fall. Next we have the fuchsia 
flatworm. This flatworm can be found in the Ampapulo region during the daytime. It can be found in all seasons except spring. Next, we have the giant isopod. This critter can be found in the Limapulo region and it's only appear during daytime and only in summer and fall seasons. Next, we have the giraffe seahorse. This seahorse can be found in Ampapulo region throughout the day and in all seasons. Next, we have the harlequin shrimp. This shrimp can be found in the Lima Pulo region, but only during the night time and in summer or winter seasons. Next seahorse is the hedgehog seahorse. We can find it in the Ampa Pulo region the whole day and in across all seasons. Next, we have the hermit crab. You can find this crab in the Duo Pulo region throughout the whole day and across all seasons. Next, we have the horseshoe crab. This crab can be found in the Ampapulo region during the night time and in the spring and summer seasons. Next, we have the Jayakar seahorse. This seahorse can be found in the Duopulo region throughout the whole day, but only during spring and fall. Next, we have the leafy sea dragon. We can find it in the Limopulo region, but only during daytime and during the fall. Next, we have the mantis shrimp. This shrimp can be found in the Duopulo region throughout the whole day, but it, during the springtime and winter seasons only. Next, we have the moth stinger jellyfish. This jellyfish can be found in the Serpulo region, but only during nighttime and in the summer or in the fall. Next, we have the pink mini jellyfish. This jellyfish can only be found during the, in the Lima Pulo region throughout the whole day, but only appears during winter season. Next, we have the pom-pom crab. This crab can be found in the Serpulo region throughout the whole day and during the spring and summer seasons. Our next starfish is the red knob starfish. You can find it in the Lima Pulo region throughout the whole day, but during the summer or winter seasons only. Next up, we have the ruby sea dragon. You can find it in the Duo Pulo region only during the tea time, but during the summer or winter seasons only. Next, we have the sea anemone. This critter can be found at the Lima Pulo region throughout the whole day and across all seasons. Next, we have the sea slug. This slug can be found in the Sa Pulo region throughout the whole day and across all seasons. Next, we have the sexy shrimp. It can be found in the Ampapulo region throughout the daytime only, but across all seasons. Next, we have the Shiho Seahorse. This seahorse can be found in the Lima Pulo region throughout the whole day, but only appears during the fall and winter. Next up is a Skunk Cleaner Shrimp. You can find this shrimp at the Dua Pulo region throughout the whole day and across all seasons. Next, we have the split colored lobster. This lobster can be found in the Ampak Pulo region during the night time and in the spring and winter seasons. Next, we have the stone crab. This crab can be found in Lima Pulo region only at night time and across all seasons except during summer. Next, we have the sunflower sea star. We can find this critter in the Lima Pulo region throughout the whole day and during the spring and summer seasons. Up next is a tiger tail seahorse. You can find this seahorse at the Sir Pulo region during the nighttime and across all seasons except for summer. Up next is the upside down jellyfish. You can find this jellyfish at the Sir Pulo region only during the daytime and in drought all seasons. Up next is the Venus flower basket. This critter can be found in the Sir Pulo region throughout the whole day and you can catch it in all seasons except for summer. Next, we have the whelk. This critter can be found at the Duo Pulo region throughout the whole day, but only appears during springtime. Next, we have the white spotted jellyfish. It appears in the Sa Pulo and Duo Pulo regions during the nighttime only and only during the fall and winter. Last but not least is the Yeti crab. You can find this crab at the Sa Pulo region during the night time and during the spring and summer seasons. Okay, that is pretty much all the ocean critters you can find while diving in Coral Island. 
What do you guys think about this guide? Please leave me a comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for West Anime Sims for more updates on retro Sims content. Please take note this is subject to change as this game is still under development even though it's still a, we have early access so things might change but this is correct during at the time of recording. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!